Hello everyone, it's Brandon here with Bootleg Boxes, bringing you a tutorial that uh, everybody's been asking me for lately. I'm um, sorry I didn't get it out sooner, just been busy with a lot of other things. Um, but this is how you're going to um, run games off of the HDD OSD for the PlayStation 2 Softmod. Um, now this, after you uh, have installed the games to your hard drive using WinHIIP or... Uh, loading it up in HD loader, whatever method you've got in the ISO onto your hard drive. So once you got that all taken care of, you're going to need just one more program. It's going to be called HDL Game Installer, and I'll have it in the description just as usual. So this right here is the file that we need. So once you get that, all you're going to do, drag this on over into your flash drive. And once that's there, we're going to go ahead and uh, head on over to the PlayStation 2. We'll get this started. Alright, so once you're into your PlayStation 2, you're going to go ahead and go into Browser. and go ahead and click into HDD from here you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the uh, ulaunch ELF make sure that you have already plugged in your flash drive for this from, the, uh, from here you're going to click into the file browser Head on down to Mass, which is where your your uh, flash drive is located. You're gonna want to find HDL Game Installer. You're gonna hit R1 and go to Copy. Hit Triangle to go back. Go into MC0, and you can put this either directly into the main part of the memory card, or uh, for me, I'd like to keep everything nice and uh, clean. So I made a a folder here, boot, uh, and you can place it in here. Um, if you need, uh, if you want to make a new folder. You just click R1, go down to New DIR, and you can name it whatever you want. So in my case, I went into Boot. Now I've already copied it in here, but uh, once you figure out where you want to place it, just click R1 and go to Paste. It'll take uh, maybe about three to four minutes. It's a pretty big file. So um, once you got it placed wherever you need it, go ahead and go into HDL Game Installer and click Game Installer ELF. You do need the entire folder in there, as I found out recently, it just doesn't like to run without the uh, everything in there. Once this loads up, the screen might be a little spotty in some cases, for whatever reason it doesn't show the uh, letter A for me, I'm not sure why. But um, once you get here, you're going to want to go and find whatever game you want to install um, to the hard drive. In this case, we're going to play, uh, or we're going to do an old favorite of mine, uh, Evergrace. Hit circle for game options, and um, you can choose to change the name of it, uh, whatever you feel like doing. Uh, here, I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, in some games that are a little bit longer, like Grand Theft Auto Vice City, um, you'd, uh, I'd change the, uh, the top loader, or the top menu, here, uh, as well as the uh, the bottom one. So on the top it says Grand Theft Auto, and the bottom it says Vice City. I'll show you that here in a bit. So once you do that, uh, go on over to Next, proceed, click OK, change game icon. Now this is if you want to have either the stock little HD loader icon, or if you want to have like um, it's it's basically just the game save icon uh, that you'll click on to run the game. So if you want that, click Yes and change to game save click OK proceed click OK game updated successfully hit OK after that it'll take a minute now from here you're gonna click uh, quit program which is the X button and hit OK the PlayStation 2 will restart
And once you're back here, go into browser. Click on your HDD. And you'll see uh, that I have a new icon here. This is the save for uh, Evergrace. So you can check that out. You can see it's uh, 3,712 megabytes. Um, which is roughly about 3 gigs. Um, and this is kind of what I was telling you. You see on the top there it says Grand Theft Auto. On the bottom part it says Vice City. And on here it says HD Loader. Under that it says Evergrace. So um, that's kind of what I was talking about before. But just show you. Uh, click X on that. And it runs it straight from the HDD OSD on here. It sometimes takes a minute. There you see it. Well, uh, as always, thank you all for watching. Uh, again, I'm sorry that this video took so long to get out there, but, uh,